Madison, Madison, could you tell me, could you give me a strong memory? A, about st a strong memory. A, very, uh, a recent strong memory uh, is the, the passion in which uh, Pierre Berger or, was so involved in these two museums, Marrakech and Paris. Um, you know, uh, Pierre never built, uh, he renovated numerous things in his life, buildings, houses, offices, uh, uh, various projects, but he had never built something from, this was saying English, scratch, from ground up. So it was a very different uh, kind of project for him as well, because basically there was a clean slate, there was an empty plot of land in Marrakesh, and um, so it, it, it required him to rethink the methods in which he thought and, re and reflected on what he wanted to see or what the project should be. Mm -hmm. um, Paris, the Paris Museum is in the former Maison de Couture, which he knew and worked and, and, and knew intimately, obviously, because it was the headquarters in Saint Laurent for many decades. <clears throat> so it was more here in Paris, it was much more of a puzzle, trying to fit the pieces within a puzzle. Whereas Marrakesh was something that was, I think, uh, very challenging for him, and he took it uh, uh, very, very seriously and met numerous times with the architects, with uh, Christophe Martin, the sonographer, uh, with Bjorn Dahlstrom, the director. Uh, he was, as they say in French, engagé. He was really, he was part of a, very much part of the process, if not the leading member of the, of the team. Yeah. No surprise about that, right? No, of course, Pierre Berger, by nature, of course, was uh, like to be the leader of the team in any case. So, yes. um, no, but he was, I think that one of the strongest memories is that, is that, that engagement, that, that incredible uh, tenacity that he had. Till the end. To, to the very, very end, yeah. And in fact, it's very interesting because <clears throat> he visited, the last time he visited Marrakesh was in May, mm -hmm. um, where he visited the museum. The collection had not been installed yet, but the museum was finished, completely finished. Yes. And uh, he said, he said for him it was done. He could envision exactly how it was. Then he came to Paris, and he visited here Avenue Marceau, mm -hmm. uh, the Paris Museum, uh, early July, and again for him. And he was already working on future projects. Like what? He was renovating a house in Tangier, uh, and that was the thing that, as well as working on books, a uh, uh, series of interviews that he was working on. So he was always had numerous projects he was working always on. Always so, a future. Uh, always a future. It was always tomorrow. As he said, which is one thing I learned from him, which is to transform dreams into reality and to, to make projects. Uh, concrete projects that will mean something not for today but for tomorrow and for future generations. 